We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Naim, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? It's another day in the House of Champions. With the pressure running high yesterday, the remaining kids got a good night's sleep and now are waking up for brand new challenges. The boardroom meeting last night was pretty harsh, eliminating 16 of the players. As a new day begins, the players who got cut leave the house. Well, you know, it was a good experience and, you know, I can get better and, you know, come back next year and try even harder. I'm alright with it, because I enjoyed the experience and I have other things coming later on in the future, so I'm good. I'm not too happy. I thought, I thought I would make it for sure, but... They're all good players, so there is definitely a future for those guys if they really want it. And as the old players leave, the ones left move from the Dome to the House of Champions. I'm feeling pretty good and made it past the first set of cats, so I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy I made the first cut and uh, hopefully I can keep going until Wednesday. I know I'm just going to keep playing my simple game and uh, hopefully he'll like that. I'm glad I'm here. It's a good feeling to know that you're, uh, you're still in it and you still have a chance to go further. Maybe they should be gone, shouldn't be gone, it's not really our choice to say. But yeah, it's not our decision. But uh, it, it opened my eyes for sure. Ah, good hit too. Some of the players decide to start their day with a good workout. But on the other side of the house, coach Steve Niger isn't too happy. And the unsuspecting players might be in for a surprise. Abraham, what room are you in? <coughs> what room are you sleeping in? What room do you sleep in? Room four, you're lucky man today. Gentlemen, you're doing that wrong, put that down. Who's in room uh, one and six?
Get your asses up there and clean that washroom, please, gentlemen. That's what, it's a pi huh? well, that's what they left last night. They left it all dirty last night. Okay, you guys got to clean it. Okay, they clean your mess. No, we clean our mess. You made us clean ours when we were leaving. Did you? Yeah. Okay, do me a favor then. Could you go get, go, someone go over there, get me four boys or five boys, then I want that washroom cleaned. Then they didn't fulfill their responsibilities. Yeah. All right. On that note, the boys get together and head to the house to clean up. Somebody said, hey, who's going to do that bathroom? I'll do the dishes. Oh, mom. I'm letting you know, this washroom has to be cleaned. I don't know who's going to do it. You can all go and take a napkin, clean it, whatever. Josh, I'm coming back here 20 minutes. I want the whole thing clean. All right. It looks like they have their work cut out for them. As the kids finish cleaning, they get to sit down for a special treat with Ray Hall. A live broadcast of the Everton game is playing, and they all relax to watch to see who will win. And while some kids are into the game, others can barely keep their eyes open. Hopefully for them, Ray won't notice. As the game carries on, After a long game, it finally ends with Everton taking the win. With Everton's win, hopefully Ray will be in a good mood to coach. The kids are called into the lunchroom for a brief meeting with the coaches. We'll see you around 5 or 5.30. We're going to be inside the uh, bubble. We'll have training then, everybody together. Okay? Make sure you guys are 100%. With the rain outside, the kids head to the dome for their first run of drills with Coach Ray Hall. He'll be watching them, testing them, and judging them to see if they have what it takes to make it to Everton. We'll see you around 5 or 5.30. We're going to be inside the uh, bubble. Make sure you guys are 100%. Yeah. With all the players in the dome, the coaches begin the warm-ups to get the kids ready for Coach Ray Hall. Ray Hall stays close by to keep an eye on the players. As the warm-ups come to an end, the kids break for a quick drink. And Ray Hall prepares for his first round of coaching with the kids. Nil satis nesi optimum. And it means nothing but the best is good enough. Don't accept anything that isn't the best. 
We say to our players, every day is a race. And you need to be at the front of that race. The moment you stop, these two guys and myself will notice it. Try and understand that we are really only interested in the best. Not boys who are okay or good, but the best. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out, would fight and grit and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it, you have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. There's an arrogance about footballers. There's an arrogance about people who are successful. We complain continually about the weather, about who knows, standard of living, football, religion, we complain all the time. We've brought into our academy a no-blame culture. I'm the midfield player, I pass it to the wide player, if it doesn't get there, don't stand and say you're sorry, just get on with the game. When I say change, I want you to kick the ball up in the air and get somebody else's. How hard's that? We do this with our under 12s. More on the floor. Jay! If that's part of your game, what do you do? Find out how to do it, ask your coaches, and practice it. You know the most disappointing story I've heard since I've been here? Hubert here said he had to come down this morning and turn the channel back to football from cartoons. That disappoints the hell out of you. I set out to give you boys some idea of what it's like to be a professional footballer in the Premier League. You look at some players and you think, oh, he's hopeless, he? he's not very good, I could do that. Every player is top draw. 27 million for Wayne Rooney, 14 million for Ronaldo, 17 million for Nani, and 14 million pounds for Anderson from Porto. My maths aren't that good, but call it over 50 million pounds for four teenagers. That's what you're going to have to compete against these next four days. Okay boys, when you've, uh, you've had a drink, if you get one ball in this area that we've got here. Ray is watching them carefully as he takes the kids through the most intense drills they've had yet. Coach Hall has had years of experience. He's got the eye and he knows what he wants. Disaster. Emotions will run high, and when they go to the boardroom, a surprise will shock everyone. We're all looking for the gem, the jewel. We always ask our scouts to look for the player that makes a difference. And, and it's as, as simple as that. A silly little game. We play with little ones and we play it with our first team as well. These two boys will start off as defenders. I like practicing, I like game, I like, like, unless it's involving soccer, doesn't matter to me, I'll just play. Even if it's two, two times, like playing two times a day, I'll do it because I love it. If 
they kick your ball out, join them. Let's see who the last one in is. Play! Like yesterday, um, some players in my room get cut, and I don't want to sleep on his bed because <laughs> I'm very superstitious, very, very. Once your ball's gone, you're the defender. Five left, five left. Winner, Stefan, the winner. Well done. Individually, like if like playing my position, sometimes you have you want to shine and show what you can do. You have to take the ball and like take on players, go up the field, try and do like a lot of things yourself. But you also have to show as a team. And with a football, have I shown you? First of all, anything that maybe you didn't know, the answer's no. Have I given you the opportunity to practice what you do? Yeah. It's definitely a lot of pressure. I haven't really had a chance to play under huge pressure like that. If I play my game, I'll be able to win this. I would hope that you'll get hold of a football and you'll practice this. And I have to say, I saw three or four boys before have difficulty. So now we just got to look forward and hope to do our best and see what happens today and tomorrow. See who gets cut and who stays. And stop, come back in. Disaster, come back in. Right, get mixed up, go, get mixed up, get mixed up. When I say go, I want you to get in sevens in a huddle. I'm the last team to get seven sorted out. Per us Hey! You've got 400 in that one. Seven we want. Stefan, you would never tell lies, because I know you to be an honest man. Which was the last team? Yes. No, no, don't sit on the fence. Give me an answer. Uh, that's Get down and do five press ups. Can you change without it bouncing? This is under 14 stuff for us. So we know where your partner is. Change! Anybody done it? Don't mind that. Don't pay any attention to me if you're still doing stuff like that. Because it's your practice, you're the player. What's your name? Gabriel, show me a turn. Love it, okay, love it. Let's have a little practice of that. See how good we are. Good. And stop. Anybody else show me another turn? Anything different? Come on, shout at me. Be clever. You might just find yourself tomorrow just come out a moment in this position where you've got to do that. Honesty time now. Just put your hand up if you had any difficult or found either of those two turns difficult. Okay, last game. Everybody's in. Keep control of your football. Play with your head up. Plenty of soft touches, but if you can kick somebody else's football out the square, they're out, they go and relax, you're still in. A pot of gold at the end. Whose football is this? Play! If you kick the football out, they're out, they're out the game. And stop! Who are the brave players? Who are the ones that are going to get stuck in a corner and hide? Or who are the ones that are going to go up to their opponents and try and kick a football up? Let's see. Play. Logan, you're the only one who's honest. With the practice coming to an end, Ray needs to make a decision on which players stay and which players go. Behind the closed doors of the boardroom, the coaches decide on what's needed to happen.
Hi Demir, uh, Ray Hall from Everton. Um, we're delighted you're here. I just feel something special when I play soccer. Soccer is like a re religion in my family. Everybody like watches soccer on TV. Um, oh no, it's just something special in my family. Um, you qualified as of right from one of the, the group stages, so, so we're happy that you're here. We need a replacement to trade into one of the teams, so I'm glad to tell you that you're here. Demir, just to let you know, you'll be working with me, with Team Umbro. We welcome you here, and best of luck. You have no idea how lucky you are that a player got injured and you're second in line to get into the spot, make the best of it, and trust me, there's other guys out there that are fighting for their spot. That's good luck, son. Be ready for tomorrow. Good. Well, of course, I'm really happy to be here. We're really proud. Um, how can I say it? Just do what I can and try to make it. With one player eliminated and one added to the mix, Coach Ray Hall has put the players on edge. Let's see what happens next week on Soccer Dreams. But tomorrow you better be ready. So if you think today was a holiday, you better get yourselves ready tonight because tomorrow's going to be a tough one. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving in pain. I was king of the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the game, to I'm a boss of the game. A different time in the game, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my fan for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, you hear the sound of the man. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, you hear the sound of the man. Training day to sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, a cave in the ghetto, even murder with metal. If you heard it again, you see the reason my mental. Going through pain, if you insane, then we the same. The brother's side of the time is dark, it's only rain. I was born a poor boy, mama and four boys. Shack in the side of the middle room, mama can bring joy.